Let's take a look at new product introduction lines, or NPI lines, in electronics contract manufacturing, specifically SMT printed circuit board assembly. For this video, we'll assume you've completed the design process, including feasibility studies, circuit designs, and board layout. But if you haven't, check out our related videos on those topics. When you want to launch your new product, you typically need a couple of prototypes, and then a small pre-production run to verify the manufacturing process. Then you usually need a small production quantity for your first year, and you want to be able to ramp up quickly to production volumes of thousands or more. To do this, you want a contract manufacturer that has both high mix high volume production lines and a separate new product introduction line. Here's why. The production lines will be booked out several weeks in advance with higher volume jobs. The priority is meeting promised delivery schedules for established customers. If there's no MPI line, you may wait weeks for your prototype or pre-production run to be scheduled in. That's partly because setting up a job for the first time can take longer than it does to run it, costing manufacturing up to half a day of lost production time on that line. With a separate MPI line, your job can usually be scheduled in within a few days. The manufacturing engineers can take the time to optimize the process without worrying about impacting production schedules. The MPI line can be used for any prototypes that can't be hand soldered, and for pre-production runs of 10 to 100 boards or so. When designed right, the NPI line can facilitate fast ramp up to higher volume production. For example, here at Z-Axis, the production lines use the same equipment brands as the MPI line, but different models. On the NPI line, the stencil printer is semi-automated, boards are loaded by hand. The NPI pick and place machines can accept full reels of parts, but also have more options for low volume part feeders, like this large tray wagon for cut tape or loose parts. This means we can easily use specialty parts you give us for new product introduction along with all the standard parts that we have in stock. When the design is ready to go to the production line for higher volume, it is very easy to make that move. The production line's automated stencil printer uses the same stencil we prepared for the MPI line. The pick and place machines use the same magazines and feeders, but are configured to accommodate more of them. They use the same tools, or vacuum nozzles, to pick components, including any custom tools that we made on the MPI line for your specialty parts. We can use the same software programs we developed on the MPI line to control where your parts are placed, and what the AOI systems need to inspect, so it's a seamless move to higher volume production with very little setup. It also means that the NPI line can be used for quick term production builds in cases when our customer can't wait for an opening on the production schedule. And that's why a contract manufacturer with production lines and a separate MPI line gives you advantage over your other options, which include prototype only places that can't do your production and contract manufacturers without separate NPI lines. Visit our website to learn more about SMT design, prototype, and production, or contact us to schedule a tour of our facility near Rochester, New York.